This is the latest salon that's facing a complaint from Jessica Yaniff, the transgender woman who's already complained to BC's Human Rights Tribunal about 15 other salons, complaints that were dismissed. And in three of those, she was fined, fines she has yet to pay. In this latest case, Yaniff sent the salon these Facebook messages in August asking about waxing services. First a Brazilian, then just a leg wax, adding she's transgender. The salon's owner, a practicing Sikh, told her they only waxed women. You're asking for an East Indian woman who is an adherent to the Sikh religion to take somebody who has a biological male body into the back of the salon and have that person disrobe from the waist down and then have this individual, the service provider, provide this very personal service. Yana filed a complaint two months later claiming discrimination. She wants $25,000 for the injury to her dignity and self-respect. It's a similar pattern to some of her previous 15 complaints, behavior that the Human Rights Tribunal found to be in bad faith, motivated by a desire to target small businesses for personal financial gain and to punish racialized women based on the perception that South Asian and Asian communities are taking over. She was found to have acted like a predator. Trans rights advocate Morgan Auger is critical of Yaniff's behavior. Whereas everybody has every right to live free of discrimination, no one has the right to trap others into bad situations. We are expected not to go hunting for badness. And she believes Yaniv's actions have instead raised fears about the transgender community, calling it detrimental. We've seen the amount of hatred against trans people significantly increase. Uh, uh, Jessica's conduct online has been conflated with transphobia. OJ thinks that the issue is a legitimate one, but that Yaniv shouldn't be the one to bring the case forward, adding that workers have a right as well to turn down work that can cause undue hardship. A hearing date has yet to be set. Leanne Young, CBC News, Vancouver.